Hello friends, today we'll talk about 5 powerful tips to increase your conversions from mobile push notifications. Mobile push notifications have emerged as one of the most powerful channels for brands to communicate with their customers. While it's powerful, it's equally intrusive. And that's a fact we as marketers like to forget purposely. Which is where the poor user who has on an average 35 to 40 apps on his device ends up receiving nothing less than 50 to 60 notifications a day. That's a nightmare. And this is exactly what we'll talk about today. That how can you as a brand stand out from that clutter and increase your conversions from mobile push notifications. Tip number one, be transparent to your audience. For all your iOS subscribers, it's very important that you have a personalized opt-in message. I really like the way Hotstar does it. When you launch their app for the first time, they will ask you and give a personalized message saying that they will notify you about your favorite movies, your favorite shows and some sports events in your city. That is something which all brands should do while asking for opt-in permissions for mobile push notifications. Along with personalized content, the timing is equally important and ESPN Crick Info hits the bullseye there. What it does is it asks me to select my favorite team and when I select India as a team, it actually then shows me a prompt asking me to allow for notifications with a message saying that do you want to get notified about Indian team and their happenings. Users who opt in to your notifications are four times more engaged and twice as more likely to get retained as compared to your normal users and that's where getting them opted in to your notifications is very important. Another important fact to know is that you will on an average you need to receive 43% of opt-ins from your iOS users but if you do it with the right content and at the right timing you can hit numbers as high as 65 to 70% while on the other hand for our Android friends you need not ask them permission, but it's important that you keep them informed on the type of communication you will send to them and at what frequency will you communicate to them over push notifications so that they are not taken by surprise. Number two, respect your audience. Understand why the user downloaded your app and the benefit they get from it and ensure you're maximizing this via your notifications. Sales notifications three times a day is not something anyone wants. So avoid anything more than two notifications a week which talk about you. The more you send, the higher will be the number of users turning your notifications off and higher will be the uninstalls that you get. We've seen uninstall rates go as high as 15 to 20 percent due to high frequency of notifications. Tip number three, know your audience. Knowing what your audience likes and notifying them about it is the best thing that you could ever do. I frequently listen to songs by Coldplay, but if Spotify sends me a push notification about a new song by Justin Bieber, I might just turn them off. While on the other hand, a push message from Amazon talking about a price drop in an iPhone I was browsing on their app is always welcomed by me. So set up as many of these behavior based triggers, they always get 4x higher engagement and conversions compared to the regular broadcast ones. Number 4. Time your notifications. If you don't reach your audience at the right time, consider to be flushed out. Few easy starting points are, make sure you reach out to your users at their local time zones and ensure that you constantly keep experimenting with multiple time slots so that you get to know at what time do you get the highest engagement. Industry average says that a best time for notifications is somewhere between 10 am to 1 pm but it could differ for your business. Recently on a time perspective 
we also did a very interesting thing with an e-commerce brand where we used artificial intelligence to compute the preferred time based on historic data and this send time optimized campaign actually increased the overall engagement by more than 12%. So timing is a very very crucial element when it comes to sending out notifications. Number 5. Content still continues to be the king. Make sure you don't continue to send plain text based messages and transition to rich push notifications like using large images, GIFs, clear call to action buttons and carousel notifications. Imagine a user who has added 3 products to the cart and he gets to view all of them in the cart abandonment notification that you sent has a higher probability to come and transact with you than a regular notification that he receives from you today. In fact, for iOS users, you can also send a video or an audio file playing in the notification. We have the Football World Cup coming. Hotstar can actually send the highlights of yesterday's match with a brief video in the notification itself. And such notifications are bound to get 2 to 3x of more engagement from your users. So rich push notifications is the way to go. We have seen these 5 techniques do amazingly well and have increased conversions for brands by many folds. So do try them out and write about your experience in the comment section. Thank you.